Hi guys, in the previous videos we saw how we can create a static front page, create some custom content and display that custom content using widgets and rows. Now let's see how we can style those widgets and rows. So I have these two rows here with three widgets in total. This is the page and I want to style it a bit. So first you need to know that you can style the, the row or you can start the widget. We're going to start with the row. I'm going to go here to design. Let's say I want to set a background color for this whole row. So you can see that, that now it has a background color. But let's say I want to extend it to the edges of my screen. I'm going to go ahead to edit row, again to edit row, click on layout and from row layout I'm going to select full width. Refresh again and here it is. Now for this row I want to set a background image. Let's pick this one. Refresh the page. And you can see the image. Again, I want to set it to full width. You can see with the parallax effect. Okay. Now let's let's start styling the widgets. So for the first one, which is the services one, I'm going to click on edit or everywhere anywhere on it. And I'm going to go to design. First I want to change the widget title color. Let's set it to this color. And you can see the color changed. Let's go ahead and change the font color. And the headings color. So let's just make the headings red. And let's change the font color again and set it to green so we can see, we can properly see the colors being applied. And you can see. Now for my next next uh, row, let's go to this widget. We can also again change colors and everything. We can also uh, center the content if we want. And let's see the difference between the two widgets here. So for this one, I've changed the colors. I center the content, you can see the other one stay the same. Default colors, content is left aligned and so on. Now, you can also go to edit row in the attributes panel, add a row ID, add a class and some custom styles if you want. Okay. Now also for the row you can change the padding. The default is 100 pixels, top and bottom. So 100 here, 100 here. Let's change, change it to, for our second row to 300. Just so we can see the difference. So this and this will change now. So you can see the difference. Of course you can reduce it. have it less than the default 100, so let's say 30 pixels, top and bottom. And you can see it here. So one more thing we can do is change the overlay for our background image. 
So from design, we can either disable it or we can change its color. And you can see the color, the new color here. Or if you want, as I said, you can disable it completely if you don't like it. It says enabled here, but that actually means you you're going to disable it. Okay. And you can see there's no there's no more overlay. And that's it. Thank you for watching.